Well, good morning, everybody from Iceland. Most of the sites you want to see here are nature made, courtesy of volcanoes millions of years ago. We're at some of the man made sites here. These are traditional turf houses outside of Reykjavik. Now, Iceland can be expensive to travel to, but once you get here, you don't have to spend a penny on visiting many of these amazing sites. Among them, dozens of stunning waterfalls, some like this one called Cellulansfoss have paths which actually allow you to walk behind the falls themselves. Some you have to hike into. Some, like this one called Skogafoss, are right off the highway. This one was used as a backdrop in Game of Thrones. Speaking of highways, frankly, just driving the highways of Iceland, you'll come across spectacular scenery. Not many people, though. Population 400,000. There are more sheep, in fact, twice as many sheep as people in Iceland. You won't be able to pronounce any of the town's names, even the short one there, H-O-F-N. It's not Hofen, it's Hup. Now back to the beauty. The black sand beaches are just gorgeous. This one also used as scenery in Game of Thrones. Another beach is full of these icebergs, so crystal clear that it's nicknamed Diamond Beach. They all flow down a lagoon from a glacier, which you can also explore along with its ice caves. But for this, you'll have to buy a tour from a company like Viator, so a guide can steer you clear of quicksand and also explain the natural beauty here. Viator can also send you snorkeling in what's known as the clearest water on Earth at a place called Silfra. You swim between tectonic plates. This allows you to touch the continent of Europe with one hand and the continent of North America with your other. The only place in the world where you could do something like this. And you'll also have to pay to do a couple other things, like swim in Iceland's famous lagoon. The Blue Lagoon, which has been around for decades, and a new one opened just after the pandemic called the Sky Lagoon, right in Reykjavik. Okay, back to a couple free things now. The Northern Lights. A lot of people come to Iceland hoping to catch that natural phenomenon, but they only occur during the winter months, so you have to time your trip right, sometime usually between October and March. Also totally free to check out is the Opera House here in Reykjavik. It is a work of art, and they just let anybody kind of wander through and take photos. It's a beautiful sight to see. All right, that is it from Iceland. I'll see you guys back in the studio next week.